Well, if you've traveled from LA to Mammoth Lakes, you've probably seen them. John Bartel here making a little pit stop at the Elantia Sculpture Gardens. If you aren't looking for them, you might just pass them. This sculpture was the first sculpture that I put in the garden, and um, it's the tallest one. She's 15 feet tall. About halfway between Los Angeles and Mammoth Lakes is Yael Hoffman's gift to the Eastern Sierra commuters. Everything you see is not at all what it means. They're all symbolic. The tiny desert town of Elantia doesn't have a lot going for it, but the growing collection of colorful metal sculptures have been attracting and inspiring curious travelers since 2000. One guy um, made a tattoo out of one of my sculptures. <laughs> There's no entry fee to get into the sculpture garden. In fact, you may just walk out with a gift. People give us and exchange gifts with us anonymously. Self-taught, Yael cuts, welds, and grinds all of her art from recycled material that she sources from a lot of different places. Friends from, you know, who live in, in abandoned uh, mining towns. Born in Israel, Yael has bounced around the world, Berlin, then LA, and eventually Olancha, where her and her ex-husband purchased this 10-acre plot of land and started living off the grid. I mean, really off the grid. So a little bit of everything? Yep, mm, yep. yep. That's uh, it's an outhouse. <laughs> it's a simple life and sometimes lonely life in the desert, but Yael's 550 square foot home affords her more time to focus on her art. And it's her art that brings in regular visitors that she very much enjoys meeting. The greatest thing living the way I do is that every day is unpredictable. From the Olancha Sculpture Gardens, I'm John Bartel. Hope to see you on the back roads.